Hola, welcome to Aida's Kitchen. Bienvenidos. My name is Aida Lugo McAllister and I am going to demonstrate how to prepare stewed salt cod with eggplant. Bacalao guisado con berenjena, a recipe from my cookbook. The eggplant is an edible fruit and classified as a berry. However, it is served as a vegetable when cooked. The eggplant that we normally consume in Puerto Rico is the Rosita eggplant. The Rosita eggplant is a pear-shaped fruit with a lavender skin color and mild white flesh. I live in the Midwest and cultivate the Black Beauty eggplant. The flesh and the texture are similar to the Rosita eggplant. The eggplant is believed to have originated in India. I harvested some of the produce from my garden for this recipe the other day. Let me show you. This is an eggplant and it is ready to be harvested. These are the yellow onions and they need to be harvested today. So I'm just going to pick several. They're nice and big and beautiful. I just need several sprigs of cilantro. The next step is to desalt and cook the salt cut. I prefer to use the boneless and skinless salted pollock fillets instead of the authentic salted codfish because you omit the skin and bone removing process which saves you a lot of food preparation time. This is the Buenaventura brand, but you purchase the brand of your preference. The salted pollock fillets are a member of the codfish family. The Spanish term for the authentic salted codfish and the salted pollock fillets is bacalao. For this recipe, we are going to be using the salted pollock fillets. Rinse the pollock fillets with cold water to eliminate the excess salt. Place the pollock fillets into a glass bowl and cover completely with cold water. Soak the pollock fillets bacalao in the refrigerator for four hours with two changes of fresh water. After soaking the pollock fillets for one hour in the refrigerator, let's drain the water. Now, Cover the pollock fillets again completely with cold, fresh water and repeat this process after two more hours of soaking. We are now ready to start cooking the salted pollock fillets, also known as bacalao. Add the salted pollock fillets to saucepan and pour enough water to completely cover the bacalao. Bring the water to a boil and cook the bacalao for 15 to 20 minutes. After cooking the bacalao for 20 minutes, I skim off the foam using a mesh spoon. going to remove a piece of bacalao to taste it after the first cooking process 
to determine if the salt content is to my liking. Since the piece of bacalao contained enough salt for my taste, we can now place the cooked Pollock Filet's bacalao into a bowl. However, if the bacalao is still too salty, repeat the cooking process with fresh water until the salt content is reduced to your liking. Let's shred the cooked Pollock Filet's. You will need two special ingredients for this recipe. Sofrito, our parade condiments that is prepared in large batches and seasoning envelopes with coriander and anato. Here is a recipe on how to prepare sofrito for a single meal and another recipe on how to create your own special blend of seasonings for those individuals that are not familiar with our condiments. These are the chopped ingredients to make sofrito for a single meal. One garlic clove, one tablespoon of onion, two tablespoons of green pepper, two small or medium sized culantro leaves or you can substitute with three sprigs of cilantro. One tablespoon of ají dulce sweet pepper, or you can substitute with cubanel pepper. The seasoning envelope with coriander and anato is a special blend of different seasonings, herbs, and spices. Its main purpose is to add color and flavor to our tropical cuisine. This is the Goya brand, but you purchase the brand of your preference. You can also create your own blend of seasonings by mixing the following ingredients into a bowl. One teaspoon of ground coriander, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of light salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of ground cumin, and four teaspoons of paprika or four teaspoons of ground anato seeds. When a recipe calls for one seasoning envelope, add one and a half teaspoons of the mixed ingredients to your dish. Let's start preparing the eggplant and the onions for this dish. The Black Beauty eggplant is a large pear-shaped fruit with a glossy dark purple skin color. The stem is spiny and the fruit usually measures 4 to 10 inches long. I am going to pull the stem away from the eggplant. With a knife, cut off both ends. Peel the skin using a potato peeler or a knife. Continue this process until the eggplant is completely peeled. Once the eggplant is exposed to air, it starts turning brown. Cut the eggplant into one half to one inch round slices. The plant has a white flesh and a spongy, meaty texture. Let's cut the eggplant slices into quarters. Do you know why the eggplant is classified as a berry and related to the tomatoes?
because the skin and seeds are edible. Place the chunks of eggplant into a bowl and set aside. Since the yellow onion is from my garden, I need to cut off the stem and root in. Let's peel the onion. Cut the onion in half. Place the onion halves cut side down on the cutting board. Cut the onion into whatever thickness you prefer. I prefer one quarter to one half inch cuts. We are now ready to prepare the stewed salt cod with eggplant. Pour one cup of extra virgin olive oil into saucepan. Add two minced garlic cloves, two tablespoons of tomato sauce, Three sprigs of fresh chopped cilantro. Two tablespoons of sofrito made with culantro. And two seasoning envelopes with coriander and anato. Stir all the ingredients until well blended and simmer for three to five minutes. After simmering the condiments for a few minutes, let's add one to two medium sliced onions. One pound of cooked and shredded bacalao pollock fillets and the chunks of eggplant. Stir until the bacalao and eggplant chunks are coated with the tomato oil based sauce.
Summer saucepan with lid and simmer for 20 to 30 minutes or until the eggplant is tender, stirring occasionally. Let's check if the chunks of eggplant are tender after 20 minutes of cooking. The eggplant chunks still need to break down some more to create a creamy texture. Cover with lid and continue cooking until a creamy consistency is formed. After cooking for a total of 40 minutes, you barely see any eggplant chunks because the eggplant becomes very soft and creamy when stewed. The stewed salt cod with eggplant is ready. We usually serve this dish with cooked tropical root vegetables or breadfruit. The palate fillets are high in protein and have a low fat content. If you notice, I did not add salt to this dish because once you cook the fish, it still has plenty of salt. Let's taste the stewed salt cut with eggplant. Mmm. Mmm. The bacalao is coated with the creamy eggplant. Mmm. This combination gives the bacalao another dimension of texture and flavor. Delicioso! I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare stewed salt cod with eggplant. Bacalao guisado con berenjena. Thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video. Please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com, and click on the cookbook tab. My cookbook is a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook, and it contains 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned how to cook while living in Puerto Rico. This side is the English version. If you flip the book over, the other side is the Spanish version. Again, thank you for watching my YouTube cooking video.